a few minutes away. Here it comes. So this shot has become one of my all-time favorite shots in all my years capturing celestial events. It's really the payoff for a very difficult, time-consuming, and expensive journey from Hawaii to Texas to capture the 2024 total solar eclipse. This vlog will take you through Eclipse Day, give you some behind the scenes and show you how it went for us. If you enjoy the vlog, subscribe to the channel and if you want to support this work, you can do so through Patreon. The link is in the description below. I appreciate it very much. A couple of Hawaii boys here, all the way out here in Texas. Brother Texas, Ke Lone Star. Brother Keith is piloting the rental van. Spaceship. <laughs> the spaceship. Spaceship. We're headed toward the center of the path near Bluffton, Texas. We're trying to beat the rush and get to our spot. Hopefully, it's the right spot. There's supposed to be like a like a bunch of clouds kind of moving in overnight, according to the forecast, and then a lot of them are going to kind of disperse a little bit, hopefully uh, toward eclipse time. And we may actually get the eclipse through some light clouds. You know, if there are clouds, that's the best case scenario where we can still see it, and then that even adds a lot of texture to the shots. So we'll see how it goes. So we arrived at probably what's going to be our eclipse viewing destination and at least for the moment there's completely clear skies above us good morning mr keith good morning <laughs> yeah as you can see the clouds have come in once we did everything in our control it really just came down to the cloud activity during that four and a half minute window that we had during totality at our spot buchanan lake well, we've got good news. The sun has come out a little bit. We've got a lot of blue sky right now. It's looking promising, guys. It's looking promising. I'm just getting all my cameras set up and we're a couple hours away. We've got the red Komodo with the 1200 millimeter setup. And camera number two is gonna be my still camera, the Sony a7 IV. And it's got the same lens without the doubler, so we're at 600 mil. And the camera that I'm shooting with right now is going to be here with a 70 to 200. Since the eclipse occurred close to solar noon, it was so high up in the sky that my traditional mounting setup had to be reworked and became a challenge. It would have been wise to practice mounting my cameras ahead of time, but I was still able to make it work. Everyone's stoked because the eclipse is coming. It's happening. Honestly, I was getting pretty nervous about the shooting part as my brain just felt so scrambled at this time as the moon was eclipsing the sun and we were getting really close to totality. I was really going to have to rely on a sort of autopilot based on my experience in order to pull off getting these shots. We're just it is almost gone. We're a few minutes away. I originally planned on getting more footage of people's reactions and the environment during totality, but when it came down to it, I really had to just focus on my three main cameras and also not miss the eclipse entirely due to being buried in all my tech. It was pretty chaotic for me at C2 and then going into totality, but once we were there, I was able to operate and make it happen, and get it done. So without further ado, totality. Here it comes. Rolling. Look at how crazy that looks. It's a black sun.
Or Every, should I say, can I rephrase that? <laughs> yeah. It was totally awesome. <laughs> it was totally awesome. You would have a dad joke ready. <laughs> and then the clouds came right, right in too, like yeah. after it was done. Exactly. Like, it was just, <laughs> On the front end and the back. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, dude. Crazy. Oh my God. Oh. 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 We we had partly cloudy skies all day and some windows passing through but during <laughs> during totality was the best window that we had literally through totality and then read right it as it ended the clouds rolled in and covered it up for your first time with a total solar eclipse, what was the most memorable part? I think of more of the anticipation of the, like as the sliver's going away, right before the thing just gets, yeah. becomes totality, there's like this anticipation and build up, you know, and you're just kind of waiting for it. And then once it's, you know, once, Everything that, changes. once, once that totality happens, it's just like, I don't know, it's almost like a giant, like sigh of relief or something, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty awesome. Oh yeah, dude. It really couldn't have turned out better with the uh, conditions and the forecast that we had. Whew. So it's, it's magic, it's just magic.